Okay, here's my brand new rebuilt alternator. So we just line the holes up. And hopefully it just slides up. Yeah, a lot easier than before. I'm actually gonna have to go grab the bolts right away. The other one kind of stood in place. This one is really loose. All right, so sliding the bolts in there. There's the top one. And let's get the bottom one in there. There it is. We're just gonna hand tighten them before we torque them down to anything. All right, so everywhere I looked, they just said uh, tighten these two bolts until they feel snug. But I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down to 22 foot pounds. Because that kind of seems symmetrically snug to me. There we go. There we go. And the last but not least, let's reconnect that plug right there. And then I'll unscrew a bolt because it came with a new bolt or a nut. And slide this guy on here. And I'm going to tighten that down until it feels snug. So take a look at that diagram. That's the alternator. So it's going to go underneath the water pump over the tensioner over there, underneath the harmonic balancer, over that smaller pulley that's next to the uh, power steering pump, and then underneath the power steering pump. So we're gonna follow that diagram and get this thing back installed. At this point, I ran the belt, like I said, this side going underneath, power steering pump, over that small little pump underneath the harmonic balancer uh, I put in a 15 millimeter socket right there you just have it kind of sitting loose right there and then it's going back underneath the water pump and it's coming up here uh, towards the alternator again so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lower the tensioner and Put the belt over it. There we go, now it's nice and tight. I'm gonna inspect the belt one more time from underneath the car as well. But um, I, believe, I believe that should be it. Belt's on, pretty tight squeeze, but the belt's pretty flexible so you can get it around pretty easily. Next, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this coolant line onto the water pump. Alright, that one's been tightened down and secured. Now the one coming from the throttle body uh, goes into right there. And the one coming from this canister goes right next to it. So what's next? What? What do we got to do next? A new corn tree. So let's, what? Let's, uh, let's tighten these coolant lines out. What do you think? Coolant pies? Not coolant pies. Coolant pies. Coolant pies. No. What do you do next? Coolant lines. What do you think? What you Ooh. got there? Oh, did you find something? What? Find something interesting? Look. It's okay. pretty cool. Bulky. Bulky. Hmm. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to do this one from the other side. Okay, oh, do you wanna get your side too much? Got it? 
wires. <laughs> How would you cut the cut? You get it? Yes. Nice. Look, you cut the. Look at this cut, cut, cut. Who did this? Who did this? I did it. Who did it? Mm -hmm. I did it. Baby girl wrench. Baby girl wrench. Baby girl wrench. Baby wrench. Nope, too far. Hmm. Too wide viral. This is. Yes, look, he did a fire too much with your Oh, don't pull it. It's okay. It's a purple. Okay, here you go. What's that? What are you holding? A big. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's try something else and a heart. Okay. I have to try it over this. This is one to the key. Mm -hmm. So both of these have been reattached. Attached with dry shit. Oh, this, this is the two months dry when this side or this. Okay. Nice. You want to explain it? Yes. Too much. I fired and it's kind of so, it's a 14 and 18 and 5 and 20. Oh, perfect. I think they understood everything you just said. All right, if you didn't, tough luck. Tough luck. That's how you put the edge back together. I